The Washington Wizards have won two consecutive games, the most recent of those wins on Monday afternoon in a matinee against the Portland Trailblazers right here at the Verizon Center, 97-92. to Antoine Jamison was the team's and game's high scorer with 28 points. Karan Butler was huge down the stretch as well. He had 18 points, 9 rebounds, and contributed 4 assists. After the game, Flip Saunders said he was proud of his point guard. Randy Foy, who continues to emerge as this team's floor leader at the one. Saunders said Foy sometimes makes him want to strangle him, sometimes makes him want to hug him, but it's a part of the process. He's growing into the role as this team's point guard, and he did that today with some huge free throws down the stretch. Also had 19 points, dished out five assists, and grabbed three rebounds. The theme for the Wizards is still balanced scoring in this post-Gilbert Arenas era, Washington is going to lean on not only all five starters, but also their bench for production, and they did that again today. A couple of other notes, Mike Miller returned from injury again and had 13 points, four rebounds, four assists. He was four for four from the floor, four for four from the free throw line, and he also played big off the floor as well, where he decided to donate $1,000 for each one of the Washington Wizards made three-point field goal attempts. Unfortunately, the team only hit two three-pointers. He hit one, and Antoine Jamison hit the other. He said after the game, though, he may try this again in a couple of days because, as he said, it didn't go as I had planned. The Wizards were plus 16 in the paint, 46-30 to 30 in post-scoring. They also were able to have a 27-14 advantage off the bench in point production from non-starters. Washington returns to the floor right here at the Verizon Center on Wednesday against the Dallas Mavericks, feeling real good about themselves. Finally having gotten back-to-back -back wins, the most recent of those victories this afternoon on Martin Luther King Jr. Day against a Portland Trail Blazers team that had come in with 25 wins. They were without Brandon Roy, their best player today. The Wizards took advantage of that. That's what good teams do, and that's what the Wizards are striving to be. With the Washington Wizards right here at the Verizon Center, Grant Paulson, 106.7 The Fan.